Hello literature lovers. Today I am discussing neoclassicism. This is the literary movement chart. You can see how it's divided. That's the bigger portrait. making it clear all the literary events related to it this is neoclassicism and all the important events important writers all of them related to it neoclassicism dividing the span of it this is major even portion and the pictures portraying the history related to it talking about the basics what is classicism so defining it with the authors very great example aeneid by virgil and another great example is air poetica talking about neoclassicism poetica means maker it's made from this word neoclassicism portraying it i'm talking about the prime aim of poetry as given below and things related to it are mentioned here this is the basic chart express expressing the views major work of neoclassicism by alexander pope gulliver travels another very great example book of this period defining neoclassicism as mentioned and how the term is a paradox talking about the western literature and information related to it these are the basic characteristics of neoclassicism revelations and imitation of the ancients is mentioned here. aesthetics of that time what's the meaning trying to understand it art and its implications rules related to it <coughs> how france is important literature as art talking about this reason playing an important role in deism pride all these things talking about it perfectibility this is neoclassicism some special features are mentioned here related to it part of the text really proves the beauty of the english garden it's a formal english garden and it portrays different works and we can understand the textual analysis of it and really great reference for the people trying to understand 
since visual effects are really helpful in better understanding of the phenomena it's part of architecture from now and it is really helpful for the understanding and the artistic value of that period how the era was divided the major works and the historical characters places all of them really proves how we can understand it and this is the name of the major architect and all the houses were made by him these major rulers very famous places and sculptures of famous writers are there you can see how the culture tradition caves and clothes were that period rituals related to it and famous books and related writers and how the culture goes on people work there beautiful paintings portraying that rich tradition and helps in better understanding of that era is very important how these huge houses and the major works reflecting them proves it these illustrations of great works example tom jones another great work of that period just talking about some main trends tenants of it all this helps in better understanding imitation of human life summing up the whole period in these lines that's all the development goes on i hope you would have got the whole idea of that periods thanks